Wouldn't it be cool if you could get the content from your iPhone and live stream it to your computer? Now this could benefit you in many ways. Perhaps if you were using a projector, it would be easy to demo something on your device to a large group of people. Or, if you are like me and you do some reviews, it would be easier for you to just do a screen capture of the stuff on your computer than to worry about glare and angles with your camcorder pointed at the device. Well, it's possible, but you're going to need a Mac and a few applications on both your phone and your Mac. So the first thing you need, and uh, as you can see, here's the, th the final product you're running. It's just the same exact thing as what's on my iPhone 3GS. This will work on an iPhone 3G. 3GS or 2G, but it does need to be jailbroken, which is probably my biggest gripe with it at this point. Uh, but Apple, this is not as good as Apple's method that they use for their keynotes, uh, so that's just something to keep in mind. So what you're going to need is an application called Screen Splitter. Looks like this. Just get it from Cydia. You go ahead and install it in the top right corner. If it's not installed already, it'll tell you to install it. You're good to go. And all it does is install a little graphical icon right here. And what that does is when you click it, it'll just bring you back to the home screen, to your home screen, and just give you this little on logo right here. If you click it again, it'll turn that off. Now on the on the computer side, you're gonna need an application called Demo God, and you can just download it free of charge uh, right here. It's really simple to use, you just download and install it on your computer. So I'm going to close out Demo God and I'm just going to show you how to connect, you know, fresh, I suppose. So I clicked on Screen Splitter and it took it away, as you can see. So what I want to do is just click Screen Splitter again, and as you can see, it'll just it'll just give you that little on badge. Then you want to open up Demo God. You can launch that however you want. And it'll tell you that it has detected some iPhones on your network. Both of these devices need to be connected over Wi Fi because that's how they communicate with each other. So once you click that, it'll give you something on your phone that says, if, Do you want to accept the connection? You can just go ahead and accept the connection. And now, as you can see, you're good to go. You're getting all the stuff that's on your phone directly in Demo God. Now, I can tell you one thing. Like I mentioned before, it's not as good as the method Apple uses to demo their applications. The reason I say that is because there's definitely lag and it's not as smooth. So if I quickly scroll over to the last page, as you can see, it's not as smooth as what you would see on your phone. You definitely couldn't show people video. That's something that would definitely not work. But let's say, for instance, I wanted to show you the USA Today application. This is, an, this is a place where it would definitely work well to use Demo God and a screen capture program because there's not a lot of fast moving content and it's just easy for me to show you. So for example, if I just wanted to do a quick review of this, I could say, so on the bottom you have headlines, scores, weather, pictures, and snapshots. And if you go back to headlines across the top, you have all these different categories you could go to. So let's say you wanted to go to the money category. Just go ahead and tap on that. And with this, it works perfectly using Demo God because you don't need that fast moving data. However, if you were to show somebody a video, it would be very choppy and wouldn't work. Now let's say I wanted to show you something in my browser. Now Safari can go widescreen. So let's say I just wanted to read my feeds and I wanted to show you uh, something in in widescreen mode. I can do that on my phone, as you can see, but now you're thinking, oh no, it doesn't work on Demo God. Well, with a simple Command T, it shifts it around, and now you're in widescreen and you can do all the same things. So let's say I wanted to show you a Mac Rumors feed. Just go ahead and click on Mac Rumors. It'll load up something about uh, their first year success, over one and a half billion application downloads, which is good for Apple, of course. So there you go. That's just how you can quickly and easily live stream the content on your phone to your Macintosh. Again, you're going to need a jailbroken device running Cydia, and you're going to need to install Screen Splitter. On your Mac, you're going to need to install Demo God, both of which are free applications. And also, they both, both your computer and your device need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network because that's how they communicate with each other. 
So I'm Michael Sherlock from youtube.com slash the revived one and michaelsherlock.com. I hope this video has helped you out and please subscribe if you haven't already to support me and the videos I produce. Thanks for watching.